Here's a revolutionary indicator that I incorporate in all of my trading strategies called the Ninja Cadiz Volume Delta Histogram. All right, so basically what it does is creates these peaks and these troughs to the downside. These green peaks called histograms to the upside shows that there were more buyers involved in a particular candle at its close. And these red peaks to the downside or troughs, should I say, indicate that there were more sellers for any particular candle. In this case, I'm using a five minute time frame. So at the close of that candle, these peaks showed me more sellers were in control. Right now, as you probably know, volume tells a very important story. And if you read volume like I do and also incorporate it as part of your strategy, then the Ninja Cadiz Volume Delta histogram really does a good job at identifying potential areas where price might reverse back to the upside or accelerate to the downside, right? So um, the way I typically use it is in conjunction with other methods. For example, here on the NASDAQ has been selling off for two consecutive days. And then yesterday, around about before 2 p.m., we had support set in and a nice spike back to the upside. Now, if you had to read what the volume delta histogram has been telling you, you can see here that at this peak, as price started moving to the downside, a lot of selling volume stepped in. Then price moved lower and lower and lower. And as it did so, we had volume drying up as well. Almost like you would get momentum divergence. We could probably call this volume divergence as well. All right, then price makes a low. We get another bounce to the upside. And then another aggressive sell-off to the downside again. So another strong sell off to the downside starts with a lot of volume. And as price approaches a low, we see volume drying up again. Oops, I should be using the other one. Pardon me. We see volume drying up again into a low and then we get a reversal to the upside. Now, well, although volume did start drying up around about this mark, which was not the actual low, it's very important that you then incorporate this indicator with other techniques. I, for example, like using market geometry and very coolly, if you had to go from that high using a pitchfork to this low, so this is the first drop lower, a little bit of a correction back to the upside. And look what happened when price hit this lower, what we call lower red warning line. I actually did so on two occasions, right? It, was, it caught the extreme of this move to the downside and then a bounce followed to the upside again. Also very cool, I had a confluence between a lower red warning line as well as a fib extension. So we had the first decline to the downside, measuring that leg and projecting it from this lower high. And look what happened when price hit the 123.6 fib extension level. It's exactly where it crossed that lower red warning line. And that's typically uh, what I would wait for price to do is hit one of these confluence areas. I can go mark that prior to price getting there knowing that there's a 123.6 crossing with that lower red warning line i can then also very importantly see in my indicators volume delta histogram showing a decrease in volume into that area and as price reaches it it starts making its way back to the upside we get a little bit of a bounce that initially starts with a little bit of buying volume as you can see over here but then initially picking up and up and up, indicating that a reversal is potentially occurring from this area of confluence. And that's typically how I use this volume delta histogram as part of one of my strategies. There are many other strategies that I use as well, and I'm pretty sure that it can enhance your trading strategies as well. So if you like this and you want to get access to this tool, please check out our Ninja Cater's Fast Track program by clicking the link below this video. See you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.